welcome to this video. So today we are going to be making three ingredient brownie. This is going to be the one of the yummiest brownie you'll ever have. Obviously I'm going to be making the brownie so I'll have the brownie but you can also make this brownie because it's going to be super easy recipe. So the first ingredient we're going to be using is the light butter. You can use the normal butter if you don't have this butter but that is obviously going to be increasing the calorie. This is going to be a portion for two. One portion will have almost like 50 calories so the entire brownie will have like 100 calories. And the next uh, ingredient is going to be the cacao powder, 100% blended cacao. So the third ingredient is going to be, which is the magical ingredient, which usually people don't put in the brownie, is the Greek yogurt. So I usually use skeer. So this is, I think, the protein skeer. It's like the super simple recipe. So I have already preheated my oven. I'm going to be telling you another way of making it with the microwave if you don't have the oven. It's the easiest recipe in the world. Like anybody can make Make it even a kid of one year can make it if i can make it anybody can make it so we're gonna take a bowl i don't weigh my ingredients for this brownie i just wing it and i do have an idea about it so let's weigh it actually so that i can give you the exact calorie ideas so i usually use two tablespoons of cacao which is a lot of cacao powder by the way so a lot of fiber is going to be oh i actually guessed exact right i thought it's going to be 30 grams of it's 27 but i don't want to use a lot of utensils so i usually put butter in this and then i microwave it liquidify it and then i put the cacao powder on the top of it usually i use like half teaspoon of no back butter and we're going to put it in microwave for uh usually put for 10 seconds but it was already saying 7 seconds so we put for 7 seconds and then we again going to press 10 and then we'll do it for 3 more seconds okay so it almost came to this consistency now we're going to put this in this so in that case see if you're using two bowls so you waste a lot of food also not a lot of but yeah little bit now another of my low not low calorie it's zero calorie ingredient which is erythritol usually i put like one big tablespoon of erythritol now we're gonna mix it and now to make it a paste consistency we are just going to add the greek yogurt it's flavored by the way this yogurt is really tasty if you find the greek yogurt or the skeer in the vanilla flavor it literally tastes like vanilla pudding so we don't have to make this paste very liquidy because anyway the yogurt releases water so try to make it as thick as possible it doesn't look that appealing so here if like it doesn't mix well then i add a little bit more yogurt now it's coming to the consistency how i actually wanted it to be to be to be not to pee to pee or not to pee that is the question so the consistency of this paste should be like this it should be as thick as possible but properly mixed because anyways yogurt is going to release the water and i've already told you this so you can just usually like flatten up your brownie here and just bake it but i like to eat my brownie in like proper bowl so i have this pumpkin from some desert so i'm gonna be like putting all of this paste so you can make a lot of batches of it and keep it but i don't make a lot of batches of it because i know even it's healthy but i can consume it like in one go if i make a lot of it because once i'm eating it I, i've made this then i cannot stop so this is like all of the three ingredients and this is completely ready at the moment what i uh, also like to do i take like not one like half piece of this this is going to be like roughly 20 calories I take like little, little pieces of it and i put it on the top because once you cool down your brownie after uh, baking it tastes really nice and by the way this is dark chocolate and this is cooking chocolate look at the beauty and we're gonna make it even more beautiful by putting this into the oven oh shit And we are going to put it in 150 degrees for 20 minutes. And now I'm going to see you after 20 minutes. So while the brownie is in the oven and it's baking, let me just tell you how you can make it in the microwave. So first thing, it's not going to taste as good as, as it's going to be tasting from the oven. Because obviously in oven, the things bake and cook in, in a very evenly manner. But it doesn't taste bad. It tastes really good. I have cooked myself in microwave a lot of time when I really want it as quickly as possible. Because sometimes I'm craving so much that I cannot do the entire process and I cannot wait 
uh, for oven to preheat it and then put it in oven for 20 minutes and then you have to wait to uh, cool it down so for making in microwave i have done like a lot of trial and errors and i have understood this afterwards that you need to cook it like for 90 seconds one and a half minutes but the way that i prefer it more and it's like more evenly cooked for me is that first you just put it for 30 seconds and then afterwards just 20 seconds and then take it out then 20 seconds then take it out let it a little bit cool down so in that way it's much more evenly cooked and it doesn't spill out and it raises a certain level where you want it to be fudgy and not cakey and yes i didn't use any flour in this brownie it's a flourless brownie and the reason that i didn't use it because if you are using flour then you have to compensate that flour with the similar amount or equivalent amount of butter to make it fudgier so that is the reason i don't put flour into it so it's just to give it like a little bit much more taste and you can completely skip the butter also you can just make it with the greek yogurt and a cacao powder i like my brownie not very sweet very dark so at the base flavor i just want the cacao i don't want any flour i don't want anything else if you like it maybe a little bit sweeter you can put a little bit of cacao powder and more sugar so this is the recipe that nobody knew in this world that they needed so badly and especially the women on their periods they need it so badly so go and make it asap you know what is the hardest part of making this brownie? Waiting 20 minutes while your brownie is baking. So my so my brownie is ready finally. You, 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 you. This is dangerous thing. You can hurt yourself. This is the beautiful brownie and it will cool down now. I think cow powder also works as a raising ingredient. So now I'm just gonna let it sit here and we're gonna wait like <laughs> half an hour for it to cool down and then i'm gonna do the taste test it's almost like three four hours later it completely like cooled down i think now i just like put it in the microwave for just for 10 seconds just to heat it a little bit look at the brownie look at the ooey ooeyness so fudgy it's like a fudge only <laughs> Sorry for that laugh. Yeah. This is amazing. And today I will really put like less sugar than I usually put. And it tastes really so rich. And I'm gonna enjoy this. I have had my dinner. If you like this video and you want me to try other recipes or you want me to share other recipes or substitute recipes that I do make and very quick ones uh, for desserts or breakfast or anything, whatever I do, do let me know or whether you like these kind of videos or not. So at least for future, I won't waste my time in these videos if people don't, don't watch these videos. And also I have one more video on brownies, which is soda brownies. I made the brownies from the zero diet coke which is also amazing. That is the lowest calorie uh, brownie you'll ever find. So if you like this video, like, share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye! So at this moment, I'm actually wondering why do I even make the long form content because in 10 minutes of video can be cut down and into a 15 second reel. Let's just make a 15 second reel out of this entire video. So here is my three ingredient brownie. So you just need the cacao powder, erythritol and the Greek yogurt. Mix it and put it in oven for 20 seconds at 150 degree and voila, your brownie is ready. Why did I make a 10 minute long video? Because I'm